Hi everybody, Judy Tuttle here with Tuttle Up Stamping. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midland, Texas, and I'm so happy to be with you today. I have some beautiful cards that I'm going to make for you for my next online card class to go with the Stippled Rose Stamp Set and Dies. I think you're going to love them. We're also using an assortment of other labels and dies and that sort of thing. So, um... I think you're going to love that. When you pop on, um, let me know that you're here, and um, we can chat together while I stamp. You can give me feedback, all of that stuff. That is the best way for me to know that um, you can see me and that people are watching and all of that sort of thing. So... Um, this is not my usual day and time, as most of you know. I usually come on on Mondays at noon, but we decided Sunday afternoon to take an impromptu trip to Abilene, Texas, which is about a little over two hours east of us, straight east of us here, and, um, <laughs> and, um, I, um, wanted to see my great nephew. My nephew had a baby. Uh, well, his wife had a baby uh, about a week and a half ago. Let's give credit where credit is due, right? And um, a beautiful baby boy named Brooks Garrison Powell. And um, we were dying to see him. So we drove to Abilene Sunday late Sunday afternoon, went and saw the baby and hung out with them for a little bit. And then we went to Jim's sister's. And then I got to do some shopping yesterday with my sister and Jim's sister, my lovely sister-in-law. And um, then we came back yesterday afternoon. Super fun. Uh, loved the trip, but that meant I wasn't here to do my Facebook Live. So I am here today and um, I love what we're going to do together. So before we get started, I'm dying to show you some cards I've gotten in the mail. If you will um, allow me to um, show you those real quick. Let me get my camera going and turn everything uh, down and around here so that you can see me the right way. There we go. All right, um, might need to adjust this just a little bit more up here. Let me get it twisted just a tad. There we go. All right, so um, I want to show you some cards that some beautiful people out there sent me in the mail. And then I'm going to show you some swap cards I got using the latte. Uh, mm, um, it, the name is escaping me. Latte Love, a little more latte, a little more love. I don't remember, but I'll show them to you here in a second. Okay, so this beautiful card, and you guys know how much I loved these birds, uh, was made by my downline Marie. Um, it was just thanking me for spending time with her on on our on stage a couple weeks ago. And isn't this a lovely card? I just love it. And then there's this little wooden uh, hearts hug over here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And on the back it says, here's a hug from me to you to show I care to see you through. Just hold me tight and keep me near a hug to show I'm always there. So I just love that. It's so, so sweet. That's from my downline Marie. This is from my friend uh, Diane Alberts. And this is one of those peekaboo cards um, surprises the best surprises and you open it up and it says you're the best inside um that is a new suite from Stampin' well new it's been in the mini catalog but i just haven't played with it much yet so it's new to me um she wrote me a sweet note inside here is a beautiful easter card it's an easel card that's so fun and this was sent to me by terry green in colorado springs colorado thank you so much terry i just love that card this card is from my downline, Kay uh, Paulson, and it is also an easel card. So I'll have lots of cards to display here. Um, she used that 
excellent eggs die set. I love that. And she, she die cut these eggs out from the bumblebee punch and, and made it into a circle like that. I just love this card. I think it's very inventive. So thank you for that, Kay. Happy Easter to you too. This came from Cindy Howard. Cindy is an avid watcher of my Facebook Live. She is from Hazen, North Dakota, and she sent me this beautiful card made with the Easter Lily um, stamp set. I love how she added a cross and some palm leaves in there. So, so pretty. Wrote me a sweet note in the inside as well. And then this came from my friend Melissa Faust. Melissa is a young, spunky, up-and-coming Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and um, we are friends. I love her to death. And the fact that anybody in their 20s wants to hang out with me is, is always a pleasure. So um, she sent me this beautiful Easter card, um, and I love it. So thank you for that, Melissa. Now... I'm going to go show you some of our latte, a little latte. That's what it's called. So I was part of a swap, um, and we all sent each other cards using the little latte um, stamp set and dies. So you're the best part of my day. Hey, hello there. Let's catch up. Isn't that pretty? So this one um, came from Ruth Bingle. Um, some of them I have names with, and some of them I don't. So this one's very fun. Um, I like how they use the designer series paper in the back, and that's from my kit, my friend Kim Allen. Love that one. Um, this one is from my friend Jeannie uh, Nielsen, and it, again, you're the best part of my day. Jeannie lives in um, Boston, Massachusetts. It says, I guess she's in a suburb called Lynchfield, so that's fun. Um, this one is from... Monica Ghiberti, my my friend. Um, another really cute card using that latte, a little latte set. This was something very different. Isn't that fun how they cut bright colors out of those cups? Um, and that was a lot of die cutting on that person's part. This is from Nancy Spence. It doesn't say where she lives. Um, here's a cute little square one. Um, if you're out there, let me know. I'm not seeing any comments come through yet. Um, I thought that was fun. A fun size, right? Um, and this is from Anna Marie Palmerin. Um, I think she actually gave me that um, at on stage, um, which is fun. I just put all my latte, uh, little latte cards together. This one, I loved how they used the Stitch Whimsy um, die in the background. And um, use the Everyday Essentials die, circle die there. Um, thanks so much. And just some little strips of DSP. I thought that was very inventive. This is another one from Monica Gerberti. I love that. Um, this one is a fun Z Fold card. I made a card similar to this in my 30 Days of Facebook Lives. And I don't have who that's from. Um, they must not have put a card inside with them. This one is from Dawn Burgett. And uh, Dawn lives in Michigan. And she always does fabulous swap cards. So there's that one. This one is from my friend Jen Chow, who lives in North Carolina. I love that. She's the watercolor paper on that. And I really like how that turned out. This one is from Candy Michael. Um, it doesn't say where Candy lives, but another fun little latte card. I like how she stacked the cups up on the side right there. Isn't that fun? Um, this one is from Lori Cross. Um, it doesn't say where she's from. Deerland Stamping. I love that. I love how the two cups are there and it says, let's catch up. Over a cup of coffee. This is a bright one. I like these bright colors on these. I think people did a really good job with that. This one is from Greta Wiltshire. Um, I don't remember if I got this at on stage or if she's part of my swap group. And then, you guys, I thought this was the most inventive um, 
one of all. I love how she changed those coffee cups into paint pots. Isn't that so fun? And instead of coffee splatters, she made them into paint spl splatters. She used the Craft With Me stamp set, Life Is Better When You're Crafting. Um, isn't that fun? People are really great about thinking outside of the box. I'm, I'm pretty linear in my thinking. That's the math in me, I think. Okay, so let's do some stamping together. I'm ready to get started. Let me see if I can move this up just a tiny bit here. There we go. Okay, so again, if you're here, let me know you're here so I know people are watching with me. I always love when, when I know people are here. Okay, so today I'm going to pull my things out here. Oh, before I get started... Sue Thomas, if you're watching, you are the winner of my Magnolia Mood cards um, from last week. I'll show you guys those again. These are the ones I made last week in my Facebook Live. That one and this beautiful gatefold card. Um, these were all made from the Magnolia Mood stamp set and dies from the online exclusive store. And then this was the third one. So, I told you guys last week that I would pick someone who voted on their favorite to um, get the cards. And Sue was one of those people. So, Sue, I will be sending you these cards in the mail. I have your address, so I don't need you to send that to me. All right. So, um, there we go. Thanks, Teresa. I love the cards you sent me as well. Those were beautiful. Thank you so much for that. Okay, the first card we're going to make is this one right here, Sending Thanks. The stippled rose, let me get that one out. So for this card, I actually used three different die sets. I used the Thoughtful Expressions dies, and this goes with the Thoughtful Expressions stamp set. And here's the crazy thing. They are retiring these dies, but they're not retiring the stamp set, okay? So, if you want these dies, you need to get them pretty soon because they're going to go away. And I love, love, love the labels on these dies are so pretty. I've used them a ton. You guys know that. I'm also using the... Um, Everyday Detail Dies. I've used these a lot, too. I'm using one of these circles here. Um, actually, I'm using two of them. And then I'm also using um, the Tailored Tag Dies. And these are going away. I'm so sad about that. Um, these have been an essential of mine um, for my card classes and my retreats and things. Great tags for bags, but also on the cards. Uh, tailored tag dies are going away as well um, when the new catalog comes out. So, super sad about that as well. Okay, so the showcase stamp set and dies is the Stippled Roses um, stamp set. Beautiful, distinctive, again, stamps and sentiments here. And then it also has a die set. Um, that cuts out all the images, but has lots of fun detailed pieces here. And we're going to use a lot of these today, okay, um, with the stamp set. So let's get started. This is going to be my first card, Ascending Thanks card. And I have everything measured and marked for you to try to keep it simple. Um, so we're starting out with a... I can put these things away. I can put this card right over here. Um, a base, card base, cut four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. So cut four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. Okay, and then I'm taking a piece. Now you guys may be wondering about this DSP. Let me, let me go back to this. This designer series paper was actually a celebration set. And I had enough left over that I thought we should do another class with it. So um, I have plenty of paper if you want to get this as an online class to go. Um, if you love the cards I'm making and you would like a kit sent to you, um, I have enough paper to cover your, your I hope, or hopefully I don't, and then we'll have to make some substitutions. But um, 
that's the DSP paper that I'm using. If you're like me, you might have a lot of this left over and this might inspire you to do something with that. So this is cut two and a half inches by five and a half inches. Two and a half inches by five and a half inches. So I'm just gonna layer that right here on this edge of my card. And it might be a tiny bit long, which it is, so I'm just gonna trim that off with my um, detailed scissors here. All right, there we go. Next, I have a piece of basic white that I've cut three and a quarter square. So three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm gonna grab my Everyday Detail Die, and this is the circle within a circle. So this die cuts out an inner circle and it also gives dots to the outside of whatever you are um, cutting through. So I'm gonna use it to cut through this square right here. I'm gonna go right over here to my um, die cutting machine, um, Stampin' Emboss machine that is right off camera here. And I'm gonna cut that out. Okay. And then I only want to use the outside piece, but I'm going to save this inside piece for my next card. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck that right in there. All right. Now, I'm left with this square with this everyday detailed die cut um, that has cut the circles around the edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a three-inch square of that stippled paper and I'm using this one, it kind of looks like fabric almost, but it's Pebbled Path, it's Pebbled Path and white. And I'm gonna just adhere that to the back of this square so it just shows through that circle, okay? So I'm gonna take my adhesive, and by the way, if you're one of my email subscribers, I sent out information about an adhesive sale that I'm having right now. So you might check your email about that. It's a stock up sale to thank you for sticking with me through this last year of transition and moving on my part. Um, all right, so there's that right there. So if you would like in on that adhesive stock up sale that I'm having, um, you need to subscribe to my email list and I will put that information in um, the description after I'm done today. So I'm gonna take this panel now and I'm gonna grab some dimensionals and I am going to put them on the back and pop this up. Okay, there we go. I like to put one in the middle to just kind of keep it from sagging in the middle. We don't want any saggy middles, right? <laughs> None of us like saggy middles for sure. So, okay, so this is gonna go right here on the center of my card like that, okay? Awesome, now, sad story, you guys. Vellum is going away and, um, well, it's not going away in the universe. It's, Stampin' Up! is retiring its vellum cardstock. Um, so if you need vellum, you might want to go ahead and grab some of that pretty soon. But I cut one of these leaves out of that vellum, and the leaf die that I used was this one that kind of has almost a circular uh, feel to it there. See how it kind of kind of goes around in a circle? That is the one I used. And I'm going to take this and I'm gonna add a glue dot to the back and I'm gonna adhere it to my square here. Add a glue dot. So I hope you guys all had a great Easter. I definitely did. It's the first time I've ever been able to have Easter with my grandkids. So that was super fun. This is sticking to my nails here. Okay. So I'm gonna adhere this right here um, I don't want it to go off the edge though like that. So let me 
keeps sticking to me. Um, I'm going to have it go right like that. Okay. Then I've got a scrap of basic white here. And I'm going to do two things on this scrap. The first thing I'm going to do is stamp the small rose from the stippled rose stamp set. And I'm going to stamp it, whoops, in memento black. Put that right there. Oops, I may have pushed down a little too hard on that. Let's do that again. I don't want my rose to be that black. There we go. There we go. That's better. And then I'm going to get another scrap of white here. Um, I'm going to cut that off because I don't want that black to show through my white. Okay. And then for this one, I'm going to take the words... Thanks, Cindy and Thanks, and I'm going to stamp it in Pebbled Path. And I'm going to go ahead and die cut that out with our Thoughtful Expressions die. So I'm using the second to the smallest right there. Maybe I'll wait and just kind of do these both at the same time. So I'm going to put the Thoughtful Expressions dies around my thanks right there. And then for this one, I'm going to color it with some blends. And I am using Fresh Freesia and Granny Apple Green for this. So I'm going to color the whole rose with Fresh Freesia. And you guys know, I like to do the whole thing in the light. I kind of outline it first. Everybody has their own way, but this is the way I like to do it. Outline the whole thing, and then I color it in. It kind of gives me a border. It keeps my ink inside. Anytime you're using uh, blends, you need to um, use Memento um, ink pad. Um, it's just made not to bleed when... So I'm just following those shadow lines with my darker Fresh Freesia there. And then I'm going to go back over it one more time. Um, so using Memento ink means that your ink will not bleed when you're coloring it with your blends like that. Very pretty, right? So there's my Fresh Freesia. And then I'm adding Granny Apple Green to my leaves here. I'm gonna start again with the light. There we go. Then I'm gonna add a little dark in there to the centers and kind of give it a little depth. There we go. So now I'm going to take my die from my stippled rose right here. And I'm going to die cut out this rose as well right there. So let me grab that. Tear and tape, where did I just put that? Go ahead and die cut out this label. I see it right here. It says sending thanks. All right. Put that back on my thoughtful expressions dies there. And then if you guys are commenting, I can't see them for some reason. So I apologize if I'm not responding. I'll try to reload my video here in a second when I finish this card and see if you guys are commenting out there for me. I really appreciate when you do. It just makes me feel like I'm not so alone. All right, so I'm gonna put this one back inside there. All right. So, my sending thanks right here, I'm going to actually adhere that flat 
to the inside of my card. Right there. Okay. And then I'm going to take my little rose right here and I'm going to pop it up right there underneath that with a dimensional. I might put more than one on there. There we go. And then I'm going to take my Pebbled Path Jute Twine and I'm going to cut about, I don't know, I would say about 10 inches, yep. And I'm going to fray it because I only want one. This is a very thick kind of uh, jute twine and I only want one of those threads. So I'm going to fray it here and I'm going to pull a thread out from the others right there. So I've just got one thread from that jute and I'm going to tie a ribbon and then I'm going to use the other two threads on another card so they won't go to waste. All right, so here we go. So we had my daughter and son-in-law and grandkids over for Easter. And then we also invited a couple other families that didn't have family here in town um, to join us. So that was fun. And we had ham and potatoes and green beans and corn and salad and um, fresh sourdough bread, which was really very good. My, my daughter has a friend that makes fresh sourdough bread, so that was awesome. There we go. And then I'm going to add a few dots to this. And I'm using these in color. See, what are they called? 23 to 25 in color dots is what I'm using. And I'm using these right here that are really Moody Mauve, but they blend really well with um, this Fresh Freesia as well. So I'm just going to scatter some of these on. Here. Do another little one right here. Whoop. And maybe... Let's do a pebbled path one right here, perhaps, and maybe another pebbled path kind of up, up here. Maybe. There we go. So just scatter some of those around. Now for the inside of the card, I cut a piece of that um, designer series paper. It's the back side of this one that has the... Um, Calypso Coral and Pebbled Path and Wild Weed in it, but I'm going to use this side. It kind of has like a airbrush kind of look to it. I'm going to add that to the inside of my card here. There we go. And then I have a piece of basic white cut three and three fourths by five and I'm going to add that right over that designer series paper um, and that designer series paper just gives a little texture to the inside of the card I think so there we go so there's card number one let me know what you think about that one and then I'm going to move on to my second card let me get some things kind of all um, situated here. And this needs to go over here with my next card. So, for my next card, I'm going to reuse these two pieces of twine here. And I already threw in that circle that I cut out from my other card. So, it's going to be right there. So, what do I have here? I have a piece of thick white that's cut five and a half by eight and a quarter and scored at four and a quarter. And then I have two 
leaves, the larger leaves that I have cut from Pebbled Path cardstock. I have the smallest of the curvy tailored tag dies. These are retiring, so if you don't have them yet, you need them. Um, you need another piece of that DSP that I just used. That's kind of that whitewash look. Cut four and three fourths by three and a half. There's Renee. Hello. Um, thank you. I love it too. Um, back Blackberry Bliss. Cut five inches by three and three quarter inches. And another piece of vellum. I'm using that vellum while we can. Uh, remember, the vellum is retiring, and this is the small leaves um, from that vellum um, is what I cut from the die cuts there. Okay, so we are going to start with our thick white card base here. Take my sticky note off, and then I've got that piece of designer series paper that I cut to four and three quarters by three and a half. Four and three quarters by three and a half. I'm taking this very large leaf from the stamp set and some Blackberry Bliss. Sorry if that was kind of loud. <laughs> some Blackberry Bliss ink here. And I'm going to grab my um, scratch paper here. And I'm going to ink this up in Blackberry Bliss. And I'm going to do this very similar to what I did last week, but I'm doing it with a Blackberry Bliss. I'm going to stamp Blackberry Bliss leaves kind of around the edge here of my designer series paper. Like that, and then I think I'll do one more. Kind of right here like that. Just give some texture along the background of my designer series paper. Then I'm going to layer this on top of my five inch by three and three quarter inch Blackberry Bliss. There we go. I'm going to stamp that, add that, adhere that right there. To that Blackberry Bliss panel and then I am going to adhere this whole thing to the front right here. It already looks beautiful, doesn't it? Um, you know, if you start with a great stamp set and dies, you really can't go wrong with what colors you choose or what design studies papers you choose. Um, it really is kind of magical how it all comes together. Okay, so there we go right like that. Then I'm going to take this vellum piece and these two leaf pieces and I'm going to use some glue dots and adhere them and just add them to the front of my there we go, um, card base as well. Glue dots are going up in price. I think they're the adhesive that are going up the most. I have no reason or understanding of why that is, um, but I think they're going up by maybe $2 uh, a uh, box. So think about grabbing those if you need to stock up on those. Oh, this one's going to go over here. Now, oh, those glue dots, those of you who have nails that are um, dip or shellacked, they might really want to stick to. And then this vellum piece is going to pop right over to this other side here. I'm gonna poke that. I use my scissors to kind of poke that off from underneath there. And then this is going to go kind of right there, just layering details in the back. Um, okay, so I have this circle right here. It's going to end up going right here, but I'm going to do something different than what I usually do. I'm going to take just a piece of basic white. This is a scrap. Um, it measures three and three quarters by three and a half. 
Um, but it just needs to be bigger than two, like two and a half inches by two and a half inches, really. Okay, I'm taking this large rose and I'm gonna ink it up in Pebbled Path here. And I'm gonna stamp it really just anywhere on that piece of basic white. I'm gonna push because I want the center to get good. There we go. Beautiful, isn't that beautiful? But what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna grab my two inch punch, circle punch, and I'm gonna punch out a portion of this, kind of spotlight it. So I think I'm gonna use that portion right there. And then I am gonna just layer that right into the center of that. So it kind of spotlights it. I think that's a cool technique. Boop. All right, like that. And then I am going to pop that up right here in the center of my card. So I'm gonna add dimensionals to the back side of that. And kind of put it right where all those stems kind of come together here in the middle of this card. So I think I want it to go like that. And then I'm going to grab this tailored tag um, and I'm going to turn it this way because I want my hole to be going that direction. And I'm going to stamp on this congratulations in that Blackberry Bliss color. This would make a beautiful wedding card or even a special anniversary card, right? Um, so let me go here. Boop, there we go. And then this is gonna pop up right like that, okay? So I'm gonna add dimensionals to this side like that, and then just flat glue to the other side, because this, this side here is gonna sit on top of what's already popped up. So we don't wanna pop it up again, or else it'll be a little crickety. That's a word, right? Crickety. There we go, right like that. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm gonna take this piece of jute here that I had left over from the other. This one now has two strands. I'm gonna pull them apart. That'll get, get, make them look a little less thick, I think. Here we go. I should have known better than to try to do it from the center. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull this. I found that it's easiest just to pull it straight out like that. And then I'm gonna put them back together and tie a bow in this. Grab a glue dot for that. Be a little bit smaller there. Cut these ends short. Yep. Are you watching me on your lunch hour today, Renee? Do you have your AirPods in? <laughs> it always cracks me up how many people watch me um, from work and just try to keep it a secret from their boss. I used to do the same thing, but I usually did it during my lunch hour, but that's okay. No judgment on my part here. Okay, so there is card number two, but I need to add some gems. And I tell you guys, the gems I'm adding to this one are my favorites. Here they are right here. And they're going away, they're retiring. I cannot believe the iridescent gems are retiring. These are called iridescent gems, and they are so beautiful, so shimmery. And I'm just going to take and scatter these around my card here. So I put one up here, 
I put a medium. So guess who's stocking up on these? Me, um, because I love them. I love that they're clear, but they're shimmery, and they pick up whatever color they're next to, and um, they just add so much shine to a card. I just love that. I'm sure they'll replace it with something fabulous, but it's always hard to lose something that you love so much. So look how much those shine. Aren't those so, so pretty? Um, they just really do glimmer and shine a lot. I love that. So that is card number two. And then I do love my last card. I'm anxious to see what you guys think about it. So let me put these things away. Grab that, pull this out, and my last card is this one right here. Um, using a little different technique with our DSP on that. It says best birthday wishes, and then it has a fun little um, detail on the inside that I'm anxious to show you as well, okay? So... Let me grab my supplies over here. Um, I have a pool party card base that is five and a half by eight and a half, scored down the middle at four and a quarter. Put these pieces over here. I have a piece of that stippled designer series paper, and this is cut four inches by five and a half inches. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my card front. Did you guys love this paper? How many of you out there still have some of this paper in your stash that you could use? And the stippled rose is the perfect stamp set to use it with, okay? And then I have two pieces of that Stippled Designer Series paper, and these are the pool party that kind of looks like um, a textured fabric again, and this is cut four inches by four inches, four inches by four inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rip the top of this, kind of add a diagonal here. No rhyme or reason to how straight or curvy your rip is, it doesn't matter. And we're actually gonna layer this like right on top of that right there. How easy is that to give a nice little diagonal detail to our card right there? Um, so I'm gonna add this right here to the bottom of that other designer series paper, right like that. Fun, huh? Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the second one, but I'm gonna adhere it to cut, kind of tear at a diagonal here. There we go. I'm gonna adhere it to the inside of my card and that's just gonna give a little detail to the inside of my card here. There we go. And then I have a piece of basic white that's cut three and a half by four and three fourths. And I'm just gonna add that right over that DSP to form a panel to the inside of my card right here. There we go. All right, so let's go back to the outside. I'm gonna take that scrap away for now. Um, I have some pieces over here that we're gonna use in a minute. I don't need those anymore. Um, I cut from wild wheat everyday detailed rectangular die that cuts out those holes in the center. And this one measures three and three fourths, I'm sorry, one and three fourths by three and a quarter. One and three fourths, that's the size of the die. And I cut it out of wild wheat uh, with the everyday essentials dies. Now, I wanted a piece of white that would fit inside that and still show the holes. So it needs to be two and seven eighths by one and a half two and seven eighths by one and a half. So I'm just gonna take some um, seal. I'm using seal plus, it's my favorite. Um, and I'm gonna just adhere that label right there inside that everyday essentials. And then I'm gonna pop this up 
right here on my card front, okay? Add some dimensionals to the back of that. So we were 88 on Easter Sunday. It was a beautiful day, and today we're down to about 58, so it's definitely cooled off quite a bit. Um, I understand that up north there's been some cold, cold weather, so um, must be cooling off everywhere, right? Okay, so that is going to go right there on the front of my car. Now, I've cut some pieces out here. I cut that uh, leaf piece that kind of forms a circle out of pool party. And then I cut three of these flowers. These are the small flowers from that die set that look like tulips. And you can cut all three of these out at once. Um, and I cut them out of the wild wheat color right here. So let me show you those dies here. Um, they are this die right here, and it cuts all three of them out at once, which is kind of fun. It makes it really a lot easier to die cut the flowers if you can do them all at one time. You don't have to go through three times. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to add a spot of glue to each of these little prongs coming out here, like that. And then I'm just going to lay these flowers right on top of each of those. Whoops, that one just flipped right out of my hand there. Here we go. So I did send out a newsletter this morning all about my adhesive stock up sale and also lots of upcoming classes. I have lots of upcoming classes. We've got the new catalog. Lots of fun things coming up there. If you want all the latest information about my upcoming classes and sales, you need to be a part of my email list. So I will be sure to put the link to that in the description here so that you can see. Okay, I'm just going to set that aside. And I'm using a silicone mat, and that's because if some of that glue seeps out, it's not going to stick to the silicone mat. It will just... Um, you know, pick right up. They won't adhere to the silicone. Okay, so I've got this piece here of just basic white. I just needed a skinny strap, but I'm going to show strip, strap, strip. So I'm going to show you what I did. I'm taking my um, stamp that says Best Birthday Wishes from the Stippled Rose stamp set right here. And I'm going to stamp that in Memento Black Ink on a scrap of white here. Boop, boop, boop. So, Renee, have you gotten your pre-order in yet? If you're a demonstrator, we could start ordering today from the new catalog. That's one of the benefits of being on a team. Um, and um, they gave us a pretty good pre-order this time. It's fun. Sometimes I'm like, ah, I'll just wait. And then this time I'm like, I want everything. So um, if you join during this month, you can add new catalog merchandise to your pre-order. Okay, so I stamped Best Birthday Wishes. I'm going to put it in my little guillotine um, paper cutter here and just cut it into a strip. But then I'm gonna take each of these and I'm just gonna cut them apart from each other. And form three separate pieces there. I'm gonna go back over here to my flower and I'm gonna pull those flowers above the leaves and I'm just gonna glue this right down at the top of this label right here. Um, fun. Well, it's probably a good idea. I heard there were so many people trying to order this morning that it kind of glitched out the system. I didn't have any trouble, but um, probably best to wait till this afternoon. <laughs> Everybody trying to order at once kind of wreaks havoc on the system. Okay, so there we go. And I'm just going to let that sit right there. Pro 
press it with my silicone mat. There we go. All right, then each of these little pieces, best birthday wishes, I'm going to put a mini dimensional on the back side. So let me grab my minis out of my um, stash here. Where did I put them? Here they are. Minis are the best because you can also cut a regular um, dimensional in half if you wanted to, but the minis are nice because you don't have to do that. So best, it's gonna go there. Then birthday. If you guys would like to be on my team, I'd love to have you. We have an awesome team. We just had a team meeting last night. I love them. Um, talk about things coming up in the Stampin' Up! world. Team meetings are not mandatory, but they're always informative and fun, I hope. So, um, and you don't have to do what I do. You can just get the discount of 20% for as long as you want. Stock up on the things you really want and need, and you can stick around forever, I hope, but um, as long as you wish. Uh, Best birthday wishes. There we go. All right. So cute, right? And then I'm going to grab my wild wheat jute. Um, same jute I used before in the Pebbled Path. They come in all of last year's, the 2023-25 in colors. Um, and honestly, I can't remember if it's going to stick around in the next catalog or not. But this is the jute twine in the in colors. So this is the wild wheat. I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna make this bow smaller. I'm gonna add a glue dot to the back. Oh, thanks, Teresa. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Um, it just kind of, um, and I can put this anywhere I want. Maybe I'm gonna put it down here on this one. Um, really depends on where I put my sentiment on my panel there. All right, and then I'm gonna go back to those um, in color dots that I used before right here. And I'm gonna scatter on some of these wild wheat dots, just a few. I'm gonna put a couple up here. And then maybe a middle-sized one kind of over here to balance that all out. Oh, my gosh. There we go. All right. So there is card number three. What do you guys think of that one? Do you like the colors of that one? Um, kind of unique, right? So this one, I put the bow up here. This one, I put the bow down here. I like it both ways. So um, there's card number one, uh, three. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Here was card number two, and here is card number one. So let me know which one is your favorite, or if you love them all, and you can't pick a favorite, let me know that too. Um, I thank you guys for watching today. I'm sorry for the delay and coming a day late. Um, I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I'm going to lift the camera up so I can say a proper goodbye here. Boop, boop. And, um, hey, give me some feedback. Let me know what you think about these cards. But be nice. Don't have to be mean. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to seeing you back here next Monday for another online card class to go. Again, I will put information about joining my email list up in the description um, after this video is over. And if you would like to join um, my email list, you just click on that, provide me your email, and we are good to go. So that's all you have to do. So thank you so much. Here are the cards again today. Um, using the stippled, oh, stippled roses, stamp set and dies, and other assorted label dies. So I hope you guys love those, and I will see you next Monday. Bye-bye.